Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech one. This is Sovol SV04 IDEX printer with two extruders. And I recently did some maintenance on it. I was fixing one of the belt tensioners. And since one of the X limit switches was moved, I have to recalibrate it again. The calibration with IDEX printer is extremely important because uh, we have to know the relative position of two extruders in X, Y, even in a Z direction. And a typical method for this is printing these files. And we have to follow the lines and uh, which uh, line is aligned with each other and we have to do some corrections in the offset. Now the method is based like the vernier caliper on that method. This is a little bit slow process, especially if you have to repeat it several times. But uh, somehow I couldn't get really 100% uh, correct accuracy. And when I was printing this rolling dice I can feel with my finger that on one side the black color sticks out a little bit and the other side it's a little bit in. I'll try to measure this with the dial indicator. But uh, in the meantime I got this from the Ember prototypes. It has camera assisted XY calibration tool. And I want to see if I will get a little bit bigger accuracy with this method. I will not go through the using beaters completely because there is great animation on their website. The method is based on the camera which we have to place on the hotbed and then move the extruder 30 millimeters uh, higher on the Z coordinate and move the first extruder exactly above the camera, write the coordinates into the software and then move the second extruder exactly above the camera, write those coordinates into the software and it will calculate the offset basically, it will just subtract these two numbers. This is content of the back. We have 2 meter long USB cable. Mm, there is some QR code with a link to the software. And this is that camera and I can see it is magnetic based. So I can easily mount it to the magnetic based uh, hotbed. But also there is some kind of reusable sticker or something like that. So I can place it on glass for example. Send hot and offset. And I will set everything to zero. And just in case I wrote down the existing values because I should get very similar numbers. I already cleaned the nozzles and now I will home the extruders. I'm connecting the camera to USB port on the laptop. I started with homing of two extruders and now I'm placing the camera so it is not in the way of the extruder just in case if it requires another homing with the second extruder too. And now I'm moving the Z coordinate to 30 millimeters. And now I have to move the extruder exactly above the camera. And now watching the picture from the camera, I'm moving the first extruder exactly above the center on this uh, screen. And I'm entering here the current coordinates of the first extruder. I home the second extruder now and I'm moving it above the camera on 30 mm Z coordinate. And now using the fine adjustment, I'm moving the second extruder exactly above the center on this screen in the software. Again I have to enter here the current coordinates of the second extruder. And when I click on continue, I will get the calibration numbers. And then I have to enter these numbers into the printer and the calibration is finished. A quick check method is to repeat this procedure and if you move to exactly the same coordinates, the first and the second extruder, you should have the same position on the camera. And there it is. Now let's print something. And I will reprint this same element uh, with different colors. This is just a short footage from the printing and this is speed up 10 times. And you can see here a color change when it switched from first extruder to the second one. Printed in approximately 3 hours. And even from the skirt I can see that aligning in the XY direction is great. And the same thing I can see on printed objects, so you can see two opposite sides and the aligning of the two colors is uh, perfect. Now the conclusions. Well, definitely the method works, there is no question about it. And it is more reliable and faster compared to those uh, aligning line printing method. And it, even it is much easier to check the accuracy. Just move one extruder to one coordinate above the camera and then move the second extruder to the same coordinate. And if they are on the same spot, then the calibration is finished. I think the biggest downside of this system is their software because it is available only for Windows. I don't know why they didn't create a browser based version because this is just an ordinary USB camera. I created one page on mytechfun.com website and if you have a Macintosh or Linux uh, laptop please uh, confirm me that uh, you can see the picture from any camera on that page. 
uh, because in that case it is independent from the operating system. I have a message to the software too. I hope they will not turn into a company who will just pop out a new printer every year and forget about the existing models because SV04 can be a great printer but it really needs some improvements like those uh, belt engineers I already mentioned. I have a separate video about it. Uh, the spool holder position relative to the filament sensor. Uh, use linear rails at least on the y-axis and even on, on the software side because uh, for example when a nozzle was cleaned on the silicon pad and before it starts with the printing it slows down from some reason and during those few seconds it starts with the oozing so that's why sometimes I can see some lines on the printing so these small fixtures and this can be great printer if you have some other suggestions you know a few lines in the comment section thank you for watching and happy printing